Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, one and all, welcome to the Slapshot Premier League brought to you by the SPL Network. I'm Darth, I'm going to be your host tonight, your lead commentator and your sports analysis as we take on these four matchups here tonight. Um, just telling on that fourth one, it's going to be a 10-15 start time, but you know, it'd be like it is, especially whenever it do. And so, without further ado, um, that almost didn't factor in. Normally, games uh, take about 25 to 27 minutes to complete if it doesn't go into overtime. So, we're going to be on a tight schedule between the Vice and the Owls matchup, leading into the Colorado and Maryland matchup as well. So, starting off the night here at the 9 o'clock hour, Boston Lake Beans, the home team taking on the Yosemite Grizzlies. Right now, the Yosemite Grizzlies undefeated. Coming out of the first week with a lot of honor on their chest, and they're looking to continue that as they march throughout week number two here in season three. After that matchup is over, we have the Plymouth Plague taking on the Miami Vice for their season opener and their home opener here at 930. You're not going to want to miss it. T and the Plague taking on Rodeo and the Vice. After that Vice matchup, we got another Vice game to get under our belts here in week number two. They're getting two out of the way early on here at 10 o'clock. The Miami Vice take on the Winter Park Owls, one of the two most stacked rosters in the professional division, going to be taking on one another. It's going to be Attack of the Titans, if you will. And then after that has concluded, we're going to jump right back into the action with the Colorado Cobras taking on the Maryland Ice Orcas to cap off our evening here on the SBO Network. And it's going to be a good one. But um, without further ado, if you're not familiar with these first two teams, we'll get you more acquainted with the roster spots. K-Spire. K-Spire? This isn't the right rosters. Who are these people? How did they get into my house? All right. Well, while I figure that out, check out the stats. We revamped it a little bit, and uh, hopefully you guys like it a little bit better than the older stats. So, uh, yeah. Check out what you want. All the stats are in front of you from their previous three matchups. Both of these teams coming out of week number one. Um, a lot of stuff going on, you know? It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Larry Moo, of course, the head honcho of the Boston Baked Beans. Going to be one of the big names you're going to be wanting to watch out for here tonight. Wendy's Cashier putting on a new shred of faith. Um, looking like an entirely new player. He's hit the combine. He's put in the hours. He's run the miles on the treadmill. And uh, he's he's taking a whole new turn for Slapshot. We'll see how he does as he continues on his season. So far, 21 uh, points on his career. Three games played. He was the second star from last week. Green, of course, taking the first star of week number one. Coming out of it, too. It might have been. It was almost a three-stack. There was conversation going on if Rambum should get that third star. But um, unfortunately, he did not. He stood on his head to get them the victory over the Miami Vice. We're going to see if the Vice are able to pull themselves up by their bootstraps with their double header, and um, we'll see how they do. Of course, start off our evening, we'll get a prediction going. You know, last night, or I guess it was, wasn't last night, because today's Wednesday, um, previously, a lot of points were ahead. A lot of doubt was cast to the wayside. And um, a lot of people made a lot of money last week. And by money, I mean the channel points. It's like um, Canadian currency in, a, in an American vending machine. Channel points don't mean anything. It's just more of a bragging right than anything. Please don't make me pay taxes on something I don't, <laughs> I don't have any control over. Please. Um, now that we got that out of the way, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we do tonight. Big names on both sides of the ballot so far in this matchup. Um, I don't think Cactus will be playing tonight, but we're going to keep our ear to the ground and see what just happens. Of course, each team only having three players from the roster playing. I think it's pretty clear cut what the starting lineup is here tonight. And um, of course, Larry Moon, Nuo, Artigan already in the lobby. They're ready to rock. They're ready to roll. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I really don't have much else to say about it. I really wasn't sure um, whose games I was going to be casting tonight. We got two surprise um, features on the ballot here tonight. Of course, uh, it was up to the skim of the wire if we were going to be casting this game or if we were going to... Why is Kyler in the lobby? Is this actually Kyler? He's not going to be spamming chat throughout the game. I can tell you that much. 
Hoopsock could be in. Ooh, we're gonna be seeing. We might be seeing the first of Hoopsock. But um, I didn't even get the sides right. This is my bad, man. Hang on, let me fix this real quick. All right, there we go. It's 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 presto, completo. Uh, we're about three minutes away from the drop of the puck. Um, I'm already fed up with Kyler, and we haven't even dropped the puck yet. Yosemite Grizzlies is going to be the away team out there in the black. And the Beans going to be wearing their brown. The home team on the right side of our screen as we look to take this one true. And um, we might be seeing poop sock. Rumors are in the air. We'll see uh, We'll see what comes to fruition here on this Wednesday night. There's not a whole lot of stats to go into an analysis overview with, so I, I really don't have a whole lot going on. Of course, you know, um, Larry Moon knew well, both playing a 200-foot game, um, similar to how the voodoo roll. Yeah, everyone kind of just shares the load. Nuo, of course, having the most possession time from the beans, going to be with the one with the puck on his stick, uh, controlling the breakouts as so we move through the evening. And then, of course, you have so many Grizzlies. You know, they got three big players. They got big three scorers. Uh, Rambom playing the more defensive three, of course. Um, the result of that being that he has the most possession time on his team. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it really just comes down to this is going to be one of the Beans' biggest hurdles here early on in the season. Um, if they're able to beat the Grizzlies, uh, nobody can stop the Beans. That's really all it comes down to. Of course, Yosemite last week played against um, the Vice, the Orcas, and the Turtles. Right now, Grizzlies without a loss. And um, the Beans having a little bit of a rocky road as well. They finished off the first week with a 1-2 and two record. Right now, they're just outside of a rele relegation spot. They're in seventh place overall. Uh, the top eight teams in pro make the playoffs. Bottom two playing a relegation um, bracket and um, to defend their spot in the pro division for the upcoming season. Of course, Boston Baked Beans also playing the Turtles, also playing the Vice, and then the lone man out playing the Comets. Boston found their victory against the Turtles as they mercy-rolled them. That one, unfortunately, was not cast, and me and Clifford were both busy, so uh, that one went by the wayside, but that would have been a magnificent uh, show of just non-stop goal lights. Larry Moo had five goals, Nuo had four, and Artigan with three goals against the Turtles. Noxu, Walster, Brady B were the starting lineup in that matchup. Um, it's going to be an interesting turn of the tides. Yeah. Wendy's cashier, Green Rainbow. I'm looking to keep it hot. Look, Looking to keep it fresh here shortly as we look to drop the puck sooner rather than later. Yeah, Beans will be on the right. Grizzlies on the left. Just had to make sure that worked. Alrighty. All six parties ready to rock, ready to roll. We're going to take it down to the ice level. And if Kyler spams chat, he's getting suspended. <laughs> but the puck has dropped. The game is on. And 15 minutes of slap shot to be underway. Not sure why the center scoreboard's on. That's not supposed to be there. Pass down. Immediate goal by Artigan. Able to snap that one in there. Six seconds for the drop of the puck. And he's found himself a, a nice tally into the goal column. An absolute fiend of a pass, an absolute monster shot. And the Beans right now lead 1-0 against the undefeated Grizzlies. Newo off the backhand, sent topside. Artigan here with the backhand. Scoop goes off Rambo and keeps that one wide. Rambo leans towards the top side of the ice. Off the forehand, bank pass back to himself. Looking to take a little bit of refuge from the Beans offensive fort, or back check, I guess, rather. When he's there with a deflection, Artigan there to send this one backpacking. Rambo. Taking possession for the Yosemite Grizzlies. Down the near side. Hits Larry Moo out at the red line. Hands that one off to Artigan. Off the forehead. Off the back end. Artigan trying to drive down. Green with a shot. Just off the far side. Out at the red line. A good 50-50. Not able to hit it between the pipes. Nuo here with a dump in for the Boston Baked Beans. Gives his team some time to breathe. Here's Green down the near side. Banks this one off the boards. Wendy's cashier at his own point. Artigan almost able to snap that one towards the netting. But just goes off the near side wide. 
Green, far side boards. Hits up uh, Rambone, but not quite able to get that one through the traffic. Nuo already again off the back end, looking for the shot, stolen away by Wendy's. Wendy's off the near side, finds Green. Green at the point, off Nuo into the far side corner of the Beans territory. Battle continues out to the point. Here's uh, Rambo, able to get this one down low, but not able to connect that one with Wendy's cashier. Larry move off the forehand, hits Green, goes off Artigan towards the top side of the red line. Rambo, Artigan, 50 50 each other. Rambo sends this one down near side point into the Beans zone. Here's Larry move. Taking this one out, topside, banks this one off the boards, down low, Artigan looking for the shot, just not quite able to pull the trigger, Rambum getting this one back out of his own zone, Wendy's cashier just out of the reach of him. Rambum off the back end, Wendy's cashier with a back end opportunity, not able to snap that one past Larry Moon on a beautiful save, keeps the beans at a 1-0 lead. Here's Larry, off the forehand, throws this one to Artigan, nice back end opportunity, but not quite able to hit that one from the hash marks, Artigan off the forehand. Lost to Rambum. Rambum over to Green. Green here with a backhand shot directed wide past the far side. Larry Moo getting a touch over to Artigan. Out in front of his own dash marks. But not quite able to beat out Green. Green down low. Shot off the cage out in front. Artigan getting a touch on that one. But over to Rambum. Rambum out to the point just past out of the reach of Wendy's. Here's Wendy's cashier back in his own defensive backswing. Looks down the near side with just under three minutes remaining here in this third period of action. The Beans still lead 1-0. Beans here on the breakout. Larry Moot, topside Artigan. Shot off the far side, down to the near. Here's Nuo out in the faceoff dot, looking to bring this one back out to the red line. Here's Larry Moot in his own defensive end. Forehand pass, hits up Green out at the red line, trying to drive that one in for the Grizzlies, but sent back out by the Beans. Rambo, down the near side, trying to get that one through. Goes off Artigan with a nice opportunity for a board battle. Larry Moot wins that one back to Nuo. Nuo, forehand down near side. Larry Moot almost able to grab a hold of that one, but just by the skin of his teeth is shy of grabbing a hold of it. Not quite able to snap that one in there. 1-0. Beans still leading it. Trying to get this one out. Green trying to crash the crease off the back end. Not quite able to get that one through as the shot goes down the near side and wide. Here's Larry Moo. Off the back end. Looking to send this one towards the top side. Goes off Nuo. Forehand shot down the near side corner. Rambo trying to get a touch on that one. Artigan send over to Nuo. Nuo here in the near side point. Not quite able to send that one through the traffic. Nuo trying to get a touch on that one. Sent out to Larry Moo. Green there beats him out. Shot towards the netting. Green just off the near side. Wendy's cashier here, near side boards, bringing this one back out to the blue line. Here's Rainbow, off the back end, over to Wendy's. Wendy's forehand out to Green, almost able to tic tac their sauce, but not quite able to get lost in it, as the pizza is just a little too dry. 140 remaining here in the first period of action, towards the net, nice save by Nuo. Nuo, off the back end, out to the point, Wendy's cashier steals it away, shot, scores! And we're tied at 1. 133 remaining, and Wendy's cashier picks apart the Beans defense forehand, right into the netting, and we're tied. Here's Green's dumping, getting this one down low. Nuo here picking this one up off the back and sent top side. Artigan trying to get a handle on this one. Green picking this one up where he left off for the Yosemite Grizzlies. Off the near side, gets this one out to Rambo. Rambo with a shot, hits the pipes along the near side. Rebound comes out in front. Green here with an opportunity, just swinging that one through the stick. Goes down near side, looking for the, uh, the bank shot from Rambo, but not quite able to cut, cut that one out. Nuo, top side, out to the offensive point. Brought back out by Wendy's cashier. Goes off the hip of Nuo, and that one unfortunately goes into the back of the netting. Got the Yosemite Grizzlies are up by one. I know why this feels weird. I'm not in my casting chair. There we go. Now I'm ready. I was wondering why the microphone was a lot closer to me than normal, but uh, here we are. Nice shot on target. Grizzlies in the lead by two now. With 50 seconds remaining, a nice long bomb by Rambum. He finds himself a, a nice tally onto his goal scorer sheet. Here's Larry Moo, the captain of the Boston Baked Beans, looking to take the helm of the ship down towards the near side. Goes off Wendy's cashier. Rambum getting a touch as well. Nuo there banks his one into the Yosemite territory. Picked up by Green. Green off the back and sent down to the near side. Rambum there getting a nice shovel into the offensive end. Artigan pressuring up Wendy's. Four stats to the far side. Red line. 30 seconds remaining. Nuo driving in. Green turns it away. Off the forehand, dumps this one down into the Beans territory with 24 seconds remaining in the first period of action. Larry Moo getting this one out of the zone. Rambum getting a hand on this one as well. Larry Moo here with control. Bring this one out for the boys in Brown. Down the near side. Nuo just shy of his stick. Rambo shoves this one back into the Boston territory. Along the top side boards. Wendy's out to the point. Shot by Green. Down the near side. Rambo almost able to get a hand on that one. Five seconds remaining as Nuo looking for the shot. Hits the post on the far side. And that unfortunately ends that one off. Three to one is our score as we move into the first intermission.
Seven shots, four goals. The majority have hit the netting. New the one post shot from the Boston Baked Beans. We'll see uh, how this one keeps going. If a, if the puck does hit the post and does result in a goal, it doesn't count in a post hit. So that's why we only see two of them here now, even though Rambums um, did in fact hit a little bit of the pipes. And if that one went shy, would have counted as a post hit, but here we are. Puck has dropped, the game is on. The second period is underway. Four goals have been had, three of them from the Yosemite Grizzlies as they lead it by two. Artigan off green, down the near side, trying to generate this one out for the Grizzlies. Larry was shooting this one down the length of the ice. Here's Rambo, picking this one up towards the top side of the ice. Off the forehand, sends this one packing down into the Boston Territory. Green after this one, getting the first touch on it, and control down the near side. Green out to the point, down in the slot. Here's Rambo off the backhand, hits Larry on the top of the stick, brings the control for Boston down into the offensive territory. Wendy's guess here, the first man back, finds Rambo along the top side, faceoff dot, back behind his own cage. Hands it back off to the captain. Larry move. Backhand wraparound. Denied by Wendy's. Wendy's cashier driving down the near side. Loosened up by Artigan over to Nuo. Nuo back at his face off. Dot throws this one top side point. Larry move shoots over to Artigan, but just not prepared for that pass. Artigan lets that one go down near side short. Larry move banks this one off of Rambum. Goes off the far side of his hip. Just short off the glove side. And Larry move happy as can be. Cuts the lead down in a half. We are at a 2-3 game now with 4-12 remaining here in the second period of action. Boston not done yet. Poopsock did, in fact, teach Larry Moo that one. And uh, we'll see how many more tricks Larry Moo has in the bag from his mentor. Rambo taking this one back down behind his own goal line. A little bit of elbow room to work with off the far side boards. We're going to bring this one out and around town. Rambo down the near side off the forehand. Scoops this one off the boards. Larry Moo with a nice turnover. Not quite able to send that one in between the pipes as Wendy's cashier was there to deny that one. Rambo off the back end. Keeps control for the Yosemite Grizzlies. Off the back end. Finds Wendy's. Wendy's with a forehand touch. Looking for Green down the far side of the ice, but no, he was near. Artigan down low. Newell banks this one to himself. Off the back side of the cage. Finds Larry Moo down the near side boards. Leaves that one go. Wendy's off of Artigan. Sent down the near side into the corner. Green. Looking to work his magic down. Low goes off when he's cashier on a pass attempt back out to the point. That one comes back into the Yosemite territory. Down the near side. Here's Green. Green up, up, up against Nuo. Good offensive pressure for the Boston Baked Beans as Wendy's cashier trying to trail this one top side. Cuts this one across. Green with a shot. Scores! And he makes it 4-2. Beautiful pass right on the blade of the stick. Green knew exactly what to do with that one. He makes that shot in his sleep right from the red line into the twine. 4-2. to two. two goals of difference. Yosemite pulls the lead right back. Out in front, Newell looking for the shot. Nice save by Rambo. Here's Green. Stopped up by Larry Mew. Larry Mew back behind the offensive cage as well as Newell. One-on-one -on -one opportunity. Green down the near side looks for the chip shot, but over his stick it goes. He was not able to snap that one in for five. Larry Mew off the forehand shot. Dumps this one down. Rambo up against Artigan. Down low behind his own cage. In trouble. Artigan scoops this one away. Down into the near side corner. When he's catch here with a little bit of elbow room. Off the forehand. Throws this one into the far side corner of the Beans territory. Green gets a hip on that one, but not control. Larry Moo. Top side. Artigan with a shot. Not able to get that one between the posts. Rambo into the corner. New oh, Picking this one up. Trying to take this one out around town. Off the forehand. Sends top side point. Green getting a touch on this one. Takes control off from Larry Moo. Shot off the far side. Here's Larry Moo. When he's catch here. Getting a touch on this one. Larry Moo keeping possession. Top side boards. Here's Rambum. Nuo battling with the sticks. Rambum keeps his one on offensive side as he keeps this pressure applied along the top side boards. Brings this one down low for the boys. And Black brought down near side. Went these cash here looking for the shot. Over to Green. Green here looking for a nice touch off the boards. Trying to bring this one back out and around, but not quite able to beat out the Beans defense. Second is strong. Two minutes remain. Larry Moo steals it away, trying to take this one top side off the back and out in front. Artigan over to Nuo. Nuo, forehand, not able to snap it. Just out of his reach as it hits the tip of the stick. That's a big bag of unfortunate. Green shoots, scores. Good tick, good tack, and a much needed toe. And a beautiful pass from Rambum. Sticks it on the blade right to the other blade. Green waiting on the back post for days. 145 remaining. Yosemite up, 5-2. Wendy's cashier taking this one towards the top side of the ice. Nuo getting a touch on it as well. Sent back down into the defensive end of the Yosemite end. Larry Moon, hot pursuit of green. Goes off Wendy's cashier. A little Plinko machine comes out to Rambo. Rambo off the back end. Sends this one back behind the Beans cage. Wendy's cashier off the forehand. Hits Artigan towards the top side of the ice. Nuo, far side boards. Lost to a Rambo back down to Wendy's. Wendy's with a chip shot over towards Rambo, but not able to hit him on the blade. 
As the beans collapse on the puck, they gain possession. Nuo down at Larry. Larry off the backhand. Look over the shot just off the near side. Out to Nuo along the top side faceoff dot. When he's cashier, picks his pocket. Larry Moot does the same. Off to the near side boards. Artigan banks his one top side over to Larry. With one minute remaining in the second period of action, we have a 5-2 game. Nuo off the forehand, pinched out of the zone towards the netting, just a few feet off the far side. Artigan, far side point, gets his one back down into the corner. Larry Moot looks for the pass out in front, but Wendy's had that one clogged up. Green Nuo, battle for it. Nuo, first man to it, finds possession out to Larry Moo. Larry Moo, point shot off Rambum, down to the near side. Nuo shoots nicely by Rambum, and he scores! What a play! Rambum does it all! Little tip, little chap, little pass right down between the pipes. Rambo makes it 6 to 2. Rambo, Wendy's out in front. Larry Moo picks this one up off to the near side. Forehand pass goes off Green. Green here with a backhand opportunity. Shoots it over the netting. Wendy's with a nice position. Always able to deflect that one in, but just gets under it a little bit too much. Artigan out in front. Larry Moo shoots, scores right on the doorstep. In between the pipes, inside the paint. Can't get much easier than that. Artigan throws it on a silver platter. Rambo just milliseconds behind that play, and that's all it took for the Boston Big Beans to get this one back within three. 10 seconds remain here in the second period of action. Rambum gets this one down low. Green sends this one back into his own defensive end. Here's Yosemite on the breakout. Rambum near his side, and that's going to do it here in the second period of action. 6-3, Yosemite in the lead. All six parties ready to rock, ready to roll back down onto the ice. We'll take this one and get this third and fourth. Final period of regulation underway. Is somebody looking to jam this one in? In fact, doing so, Rambo with the hat trick makes it 7 to 3, 4 seconds, beating out Boston's record for fastest goal this game from the drop of the puck. And Rambo, happy fella, gets his third of the game and seventh for the Yosemite Grizzlies. Rambum takes it behind his own cage, looking to get this one through Larry Moo. Able to do so, down to the near side, goes off Nuo. Green here with a backhand opportunity, stopped up. Here's Rambum, sending this one towards the netting, and he scores his fourth. Half the goals by Rambum, and what an offensive onslaught that player has put out there on the ice so far. We'll see how this one continues on. 26 seconds, or I think it was 16 seconds into this matchup, and 12 after the previous goal. Green, top side, hits up Rambum at the red line, stopped by Nua, shooting, hits the far side pipe. Does not come around, go, does not collect $200. When Rambum almost able to do the same. When he's got here, out of the near side point, stopped up, brought down near side, goes off, hard again over to Green. Green off the back end, shoots, scores right in the top side corner, and he himself has his own hat trick. Beautiful control, beautiful spot, the only spot on the net that I don't think a save could have been had. Boston Big Beans just trying to keep this one from being a mercy roll. Wendy's cashier hits the near side pipe green. Looking to turn on the wrist over to Wendy's, but not quite able to hit him. As it goes through the crease and out the other end. Would have been a highlight real goal if I've ever seen one. But nonetheless, you know, here we are. Artigan, down near side. Larry Moo off the back end over to Wendy. Or new oh my goodness, they just turned everybody inside out, including me. One minute into the third. A little tick, a little pepper, a little salt. Tastes delicious. Boston Big Beans get their fourth. Larry Moo, forehand shot down the ice. Rambum collecting his thoughts down the near side boards. Finds Wendy's. Wendy's directing that traffic towards the netting. Green, near side Wendy's. Shot off Nuo over to Rambum into the corner. As the puck is loosened up. Larry Moo, snot, not, snot locked out. Oh my goodness, I can't say the words. English is failing me. It's my only language I can speak and I can barely. Nuo directs this one through the far side. Nice shot just off the far side and wide. Larry Moo trying to get that one under his own possession. But under his own fruition, throws this one out to Artigan. Artigan off the forehand. Nuo with a forehand opportunity just a little ahead on that one. Here's Larry Moo. Down to the near side. Artigan sends this one topside. Looking for Nuo. Rambo getting a touch over to Green. Green with a shot off the near side. 315 remain in the third period of action. Wendy's cashier back out to Rambo at the red line. Shooting this one off the far. Just mere inches from hitting the post. Green dangles his way through one. But Artigan there with a nice answer to that call to arms. Three minutes remain in regulation here tonight. Between the Yosemite Grizzlies and the Boston Baked Beans. Down into the corner. Rambo up against Larry Moo. Brought out in front. Nice direction. Green able to send that one wide. 
New up. Up to the Larry. Larry out of the offensive faceoff or the offensive uh, point. Trying to get this one through the traffic. Shot by Larry off the side of the cage from a response of Wendy's goaltending. Green with a shot scores. And Wendy's cashier adding on another assist to his column as Yosemite hits 10. Good stuff on both sides of the ice so far. Six points the difference with 2 minutes 38 seconds remaining here in this third period of action. Boston at a loss for wares right now. Just trying to figure out how to get this one rolling through. Green off the backhand sent down towards the near side. Wendy's guys here with a backhand opportunity shooting. And he indeed finds himself his own hat trick. All three Yosemite players find three on their own goal scorers card. 11 total for the Yosemite Grizzlies as they take on the Boston Baked Beans. It's 11 to 4 nearing the end of this third period of action. Larry Moo off the back end. When he's got here down towards the near side. Banks this one over to himself. Over to uh, Rambum just out of his reach. Nuo here picking this one up back behind his own goal line. Trying to dangle out Rambum. Something that nobody can do. As Green finds the puck on his curve right in his pocket. He's just going to take this one right back out. Green. With a little sugar. A little salt. Gets this one going. Larry Moo down the near side, able to hit Artigan. Artigan out in front, looking for Newell along the near side, or the far side boards. Brought over to Artigan, off the backhand, out to the point. Newell with a shot, goes off Wendy's cashier. Here's Newell, down towards the near side. Larry Moo picking this one up. Over towards the far side, Newell back out to the point. Artigan trying to get a hand on that one. Wendy's cashier knocked loose down to the near side point. Larry Moo with a shot off Rainbow Mountain to the crease. Nice save by Green, off the forehand, clears that one out of the way of harm. Down to the near side point, Yosemite on the offensive swing. Wendy's cashier over to Green. Green here trying to get this one through. One through two. Almost able to dangle out the gauntlet, but just shy of the far side. We don't have an end goal there. Newell out to Artigan. Stopped up by Green. Green towards the far side boards. Brought out in front. Larry Moo picks this one up off the hip. Wendy's cashier trying to make him pay. Down center avenue. Newell looking for the shot. Green turns him away. Rambo throws towards the net. Artigan just enough to get a reward with that save. 118 remaining here in this third period of action. Green, Wendy's down the near side. The, scruff, the scruffle continues. Artigan towards the top side of the ice. Here's Rambum taking this one towards the cage just off the far side. Rebound comes out. Artigan sent top side. Rambo up against Larry Moo on the far side boards. The battle continues down towards the Boston netting. But cleared out of the way of harm with 60 seconds remaining here in this third period of action. We have an eight goal difference. Rambo off the forehand back over to Green. Wendy's cashier trying to keep that one in front of his own net, or keep that one out of in front of his own net, but Boston Baked Beans had it on a platter. Larry Moo slams his desk in frustration, and uh, we, we keep on keeping on, you know? Green with a shot off the backside of the cage, brought to the far side. Rambo fighting for his life, gets that one out in front, and Wendy's cashier, in fact, with the last point of contact on that puck, he was awarded the goal. Somehow split the Red Sea. I don't know how this happened, but with 37 remaining, Yosemite, one goal away from the Mercy. Green, down the near side, goes through traffic. Rambo, off the forehand, hits the back side of his cage. Here's Artigan towards the top side. Green there, sent back over to Wendy's. Wendy's, off Nuo. Nuo here off the back end, shoveled down to the near side boards. Rambo, tries to get this one out of his own crease. Off Artigan towards the top side of the ice. Here's Larry Moo picking this one up. Stopped up by Wendy's cashier. We're going to bring this one down the near side. Green here with a forehand opportunity. Goes through the crease, out in front. Six seconds remaining. Rambo. Off to the near side. Newell off the back end. Artigan sends this one out, and that's going to do it. That's the end of the ball game. That's the end of the matchup. Yosemite taking the game 13-4 over the Boston Baked Beans. Goal scorers of the night. Larry Moe with a hat trick. Artigan with one. And for the Yosemite Grizzlies, Green having five. Wendy Shkaz here with four. And Rambom with four as well. Big matchup. Big W for the Yosemite Grizzlies. And a tough fought match for the, or for the Boston Baked Beans as they try to dethrone the only undefeated team remaining here in slap sh or in the SPL. And up next, we get to see the other one. Plymouth Plague taking on the, the Miami Vice. I think that is their toughest start of the season I have ever seen. But T and Company, we're going to take on Radio and Company as we move into 930. we got four matchups on the ballot here tonight, and we'll see how that one rocks and leans with it. Coming up next, Plymouth, Miami. Be here, be square. We'll be back. Here on the ESPL Network, I'm Darth. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be right back.